Hiya friends, prepared suburbanite back at ya. We had the wonderful opportunity to go see the sound of freedom uh, yesterday at our local uh, movie theater. And uh, I'll tell you what, it is absolutely worth the price to be paid and absolutely worth all the time and trouble to get there to watch this extraordinarily powerful, inspiring, and humbling movie. I'll be back with some details right after this. So just a little bit of background um, about this. The, um, the hero is a fella named Tim Ballard, and Timoteo, as a matter of fact. And um, he is a um, Homeland Security agent who has been assigned to a project dealing with um, the exploitation um, sex trafficking of children from South America, basically, Mexico, um, Colombia, and this and that. And he is a true hero. He really, really is. Now, I'm not going to get um, any spoilers away here. So, <laughs> uh, if you want to watch the movie, um, watch the movie. It is absolutely worthwhile. Now, I watched the whole thing with a very critical eye looking for um, all those things that I've heard, the nasty things that I've heard from the um, left-wing media about this, uh, uh, about this movie and what it really means. And there's an awful lot of talk about um, this being inspired as a QAnon project, or that it's dripping with QAnon conspiracy. And um, let, me, let me just say that it's not there. Um, I think what the left is trying to paint here is the, the wonderful work that Tim Ballard did during his time with the um, Department of Homeland Security and after that um, they're, they're just trying to reduce the credibility because first they don't like people that are heroes they must really support um, child trafficking and child sex trafficking to a degree that they've allowed this to continue for so long I rarely hear about anything uh, positive uh, in, in an effort to try to control this that comes from the Democrats or from the left wing. I think they've missed um, a terrific opportunity to um, take this movie and say, here's all the reasons that we need to have um, a very relaxed border policy and let these people come into this great country and all that, but they don't want to do that. They are against anything that I believe is, is wholesome and good. The, uh, this film is uh, produced at Angel Studios, which if you have been following um, other productions that the Angel Studios have done, uh, what comes to mind on top of the batch here is the series called The Chosen. Um, right now, we're, uh, um, I, I just got access myself to uh, um, the third season. We watched the first season at least twice, the second season at least twice, our church did probably a six-week uh, in-depth dive into uh, the messages behind the different episodes in The Chosen, and I thank them 
for for that because it really made it much more meaningful. I just noticed uh, this morning that the chosen third season is now available where I get my TV. So I'm looking forward to really delving into um, the third season of that. So Angel Studios did this. So far, this movie, which was launched on July 4th, which is kind of uh, um, interesting irony that it was launched on Independence Day because the sound of freedom is really all about freedom and independence and that's what our 4th of July really stands for. The latest count that I've uh, been able to get and it was uh, um, late last night was that the total gross so far since July 4th is pushing 54 million dollars. They are number one at the box office. This movie is number one at the box office. Rotten Tomatoes even gave it a 75% uh, positive rating and their fans gave it 100%. It is masterfully done. It is totally inspiring. It is, um, it, it'll tear you apart emotionally and it delivers such a powerful, powerful message that it's just incredible. So, like I said, the left is trying to paint this uh, basically as anti-Christian. Oh, it shouldn't be done. You can't believe in God. You can't believe in Jesus Christ. Um, and it's all about QAnon. Well, for those that uh, are familiar with the term QAnon, let me just uh, read what Wikipedia, which is basically a left-wing um, info site, what it says. It's an American political conspiracy theory and movement. It originated in the American far-right political sphere in 2017. It centers on fabricated claims made by an anonymous individual or individuals known as Q. Those claims have been relayed, developed, and supplemented by numerous communities and influencers associated with the movement. The core conspiracy theory is that a cabal of satanic cannibalistic child molesters are operating a global child sex trafficking ring which conspired against former President Donald Trump. So that's what QAnon is uh, in a broad brush stroke. I saw no evidence that there was any kind of um, um, anti-Trump uh, pro-Trump nothing in this movie at all. It showed that this man, Tim Ballard, was dedicated and called upon to do what he did to save hundreds of children from being victims of child, child sex trafficking. There's a poignant scene in the movie which is really worth looking at and um, it, it's all about a necklace that um, a young victim a uh, young girl was wearing and it was a Saint Timothy medal and just coincidentally his name is Tim and this is uh, this necklace is uh, a St. Timothy medal, and on it <clears throat> is inscribed a verse from uh, 1 Timothy, 1 Timothy 6.11, and here's what it says, but you, man of God, flee from all this and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness, and he did it. For sure. Just to illustrate um, some of the left-leaning um, headlines that have come off their websites, and it didn't take much to find these, 
Uh, the Guardian um, published an article, which I'll put a screen capture up here for you. Um, the Sound of Freedom, the QAnon adjacent thriller seducing America. And the, the article begins, type the word Sound of Freedom into Twitter. Decent people who wish to live good, happy lives should, under no circumstances, actually do this. Um, yeah, that's pretty nasty. The Daily Beast put this one up. What's the deal with the controversial box office hit Sound of Freedom? A partially crowdfunded religious drama has become an unlikely summer hit among moviegoers, at least among those who can contend with its ingrained QAnon conspiracies. Yep. And from Rolling Stone, one of the best, huh? The Sound of Freedom is a superhero movie for dads with brain worms. I don't think they liked the movie. I don't think they liked the message of saving children from being victims of sex trafficking. Um, in follow-up to that, after uh, we watched the movie, my wife and I came home. We discussed what we uh, felt about it, what our thoughts were, and I, I noticed that um, that there was a, a series on PragerU called Light in the Darkness. I think it's a five or six part series, 15 minute uh, episodes. That's an interview with the real Tim Ballard. And believe me, it is absolutely worth your time. I'll put a link down in the description so that you can find it easily, and it's well worth it. Let me tell you, friends, this movie is inspiring, it's humbling, and it um, exposed us now to a brand new hero. And my hat is off to Tim Ballard and all the work that he did. This is the Prepared Suburbanite reminding you to be prepared always and to go watch The Sound of Freedom.